Hi, I'm Lance Lamott, and today I'm excited to introduce you to the Azure Activity Log Solution Template. Your Activity Log is located in the Azure portal, and it's a collection of events related to your subscription. Behind the scenes, we spin up a data streaming pipeline for you. Your Activity Log data is first exported to Event Hub. Event Hub forwards your data along to Stream Analytics for processing. After being processed, your data is inserted into a SQL database. Power BI sits on top of the SQL database, visualizing the data for you. At the end of this installation wizard, you receive a Power BI file. By default, this file comes preloaded with your last 90 days of activity log data. So you can quickly get started with historical trend analysis. In addition, since this is a streaming platform, new activity log events are also accumulated in the SQL database and picked up by Power BI. All you have to do is go to the wizard once and we take care of the rest. Let's head on over to the Power BI file. The first page is the administrative page, which provides an overview into the events in your subscription. Here you can view events by resource involved or by type, such as write, delete, or action over time. You can also see the percentage of errors you've had and the date range you've selected up here. We have two key performance indicators in the bottom left. Trending success compares the percentage of successful calls you've had in the previous seven days to the last days before that. Likewise, trending failures compares the number of failures you've had in the previous seven days to the seven days before that. So both provide you with an idea of a week over week change of successes and failures. You can also cross filter by caller if you only care about one particular user. The next page is the failures page, which provides a deeper dive into the failures occurring on your subscription. If you navigate to the table on the left, make sure to turn on drill down mode by selecting this arrow here. This allows us to get specific with each failure. Let's say I'm interested in the right failure for stream analytics. I can click into this and see which resource group is affected. We of course know that it's a stream analytics failure, but now we know exactly which job failed. So drill down mode allows us to get details on each failure. Similar to before, we have a week over week change in the total failures you've had on your subscription. And also a week over week change in the percentage of failures you've had in your subscription. Again, we have events parsed over time by date and by hour. You can also view failures by caller or by resource group. And just like before, we can cross filter on certain users. The next page is the user history page where you can focus on particular users in your subscription. I've selected myself from the drop down menu here, and I've chosen to look at all the resource groups that I'm active in. But of course, I could select one or multiple. If we look at the key performance indicators here, you can see I'm doing better in both regards. I'm up 2% for success from last week, and I have 30 fewer failures. Like before, you can see all the operations that I'm involved in. And if we're in drill down mode, we can click down and see exactly which resources are impacted with each operation. We can compare success and failure over time and also look at each resource group individually. The last page is the service health page where you can stay up to date with any relevant issues with Azure services. Let's say that I'm interested in the network infrastructure service, so I select it here. Let's also say that I'm from the South Central US, so I filter that here. You can get a quick glimpse into the issue here, or you can click into it for more details. This page can also help you diagnose errors. For example, if you see an error on the failures page, come over to the service health page and make sure that failure is not related to some Azure-wide outage. Make sure it's something private and isolated to your subscription.